This is the contactor field strength meter. It's used for testing and commissioning large area loop systems. It's a battery operated device and on the back you'll find a battery compartment with a 9 volt battery. On the front there's two round buttons for switching the unit on and for user selections. There's also a sliding switch for using it and for changing settings within the FSM. On the top there's a 3.5mm jack line input and on the side there's also a 3.5mm jack headphone output. To switch the unit on press the top black button and the first mode that the field strength meter powers up into is the background noise check mode. This will be used when carrying out a survey. Pressing the top button again you will see it displays the mode that it's in. So press the button twice to move on to the next setting. So the next setting is the RMS peak mode. This mode is used for testing a system and having a live value of the field strength in the room and also a peak value. Press the button twice again and you have the field strength flat response. Press the button again twice and you have the third octave setting. This will be used when doing uh, frequency response tests and by pressing the lower button you can choose the frequency response that you want to test. Scrolling through 100 hertz to 5000 hertz. Press the top button again twice and you're in the line in mode for connecting a line level signal into the field strength meter. Press the button twice again and you're back to the background noise check mode. Sliding the button across to menu you have the main menu backlight level. Press the button again and you have the headphone jack A weighted mode. Headphone volume output and the units that can be displayed. And then the last one is the timeout for the FSM to switch itself off if not touched. Switch the unit back to the use button and you're back into the background noise checks. To switch the unit off, press and hold the button until it tells you it's powering down.